Congratulations and welcome aboard your new Chevrolet Impala. Built with GM pride, your Impala combines luxurious style with remarkable road performance. Hello, I'm Dan. And I'm Andrea. The Chevrolet team has asked us to help you feel right at home in your new Impala. And with this CD, that's exactly what we're going to do. Your Impala is filled with many innovative features and accessories. From the outstanding audio system with RDS to the customizable power seat options. Over the next few minutes, we'll take a close look at some of your vehicle's main features and offer some guidance on how to customize your new Impala. This CD is divided into a series of tracks that cover many of the features in your new vehicle. You may listen to all tracks at once, listen to them one at a time, return any time and listen to another, or skip tracks that cover features you're already familiar with. Before we go any further, we must emphasize the importance of safety. This CD is for instructional purposes and should be played only when your vehicle is parked with the engine off, the ignition on, and the transmission in park. If at any point during the CD you want to review or practice setting functions, you can pause the CD by pressing the Tape CD or CD Auxiliary button. Touching this button will change the audio source and pause the CD. When you're ready to play the CD again, just press the Tape CD or CD Auxiliary button again until it begins to play. Let's talk about how to maneuver through this audio CD. You can advance the CD tracks by pressing the right arrow on the Seek P-Scan control located on the second row of your audio system. Pushing the left arrow on the seat control takes you back to the previous track. If you want to fast forward through a track, press and hold down the forward button under the number four preset. The reverse button under the number three preset allows you to move backwards through a track. Now, sit back, relax, and get ready to explore all the great ways to make this Chevrolet your very own. All right, Dan, tell me something. What's the first thing you did when you got into your new Chevrolet? Set my radio stations. After all, you can't hit the road without a little driving music. It's a good thing that your vehicle has an audio system with a rich set of features that give you great listening options and fantastic sound. I really like the fact that the audio system has a straightforward layout of display buttons and knobs. The top row includes a large volume and power button, the optional CD player slot, and an eject button for the CD player. The system's crisp, easy-to-read display is just below the slot. The second row of your system features radio scanning and CD cassette control buttons, including one marked Seek P-Scan, plus six individual presets. The optional cassette player sits below this row of buttons and features a cassette eject button and the audio knob. The bottom section of your audio system features a tune display knob for your radio tuning and control of your display. Two smaller buttons surround the knob marked HR and MN. A series of seven separate buttons are laid out to the right. The first two, Band and Tape CD, allow you to select a radio band such as AM or FM and switch between the cassette tape and CD. The next three buttons are labeled Info, Seek Type, and Traff. These are used for your vehicle's advanced RDS system, which we'll be covering on the next track. The final two buttons appear on the bottom right corner of your audio system, and are marked Auto Tone and Auto Vol. That's your audio system at a glance. Now about setting those stations. To tune a station, power on your radio, then touch the band button to choose AM, FM1, or FM2. If you have an XM radio, you'll also see XM1 and XM2 in this list. You can tune the station manually using the tune knob, or have the audio system automatically find the next available frequency by pressing the Seek button. To add a station to one of your presets, tune the station, then simply press and hold one of the six numbered buttons below the display. When you hear the beep, your station is preset. You can have as many as 18 different presets, six for AM, six for FM1, and six for FM2. Your back glass antenna ensures you receive the best signal possible. But remember, some stations will fade as you travel under bridges, into tunnels, and through underground parking garages. You can use the same rows of buttons to control your CD or optional cassette player. To select your CD or cassette, press the Tape CD button until the display reads the setting you wish to use. To select the previous track on your CD, press the Previous button under the number 1 preset or the Next button 
under the number 2 preset to advance your CD to the next track. To fast forward through a CD track or cassette tape, hold down the number 4 preset marked forward. Holding down the number 3 preset reverses through the individual track or tape. The number 5 preset automatically plays the flip side of a cassette tape. And the number 6 preset reads RDM, which stands for random. Touch this button to shuffle the tracks on your CD. And one more note about CDs. Your audio system is designed for pre-recorded programs and is not optimized to play MP3 or other home-recorded media. You may find a second set of audio controls on your steering wheel. Controls that allow you to switch the radio band, scan radio presets, tune stations, change volume, or control the CD or cassette player. Be aware of these controls when you make a sharp turn. You can occasionally bump them and accidentally change a setting. Setting the clock on your audio system display is easy and convenient, and you don't even have to turn on the radio. To set the time, hold down either the hour or minute button for two full seconds. Then press the hour button until the correct hour appears, followed by the minute button until the correct minute appears. Once you're listening to a station, CD, or cassette, you may want to adjust the bass or treble. To start, press the audio knob until the word bass appears. Turn the knob to adjust the sound. You can change the treble the same way. Press the audio knob until the word treble appears, then adjust the knob left or right. If you want to adjust the fade and balance levels in your car, simply press in and release the audio knob when either BAL or FADE appears on the visual display. Then turn the audio knob to set your desired preferences. To reset one of the audio settings to the middle positions, select it using the audio knob, then push and hold it until you hear a beep. If you want to reset all the audio options, wait until the radio or CD information is displayed, then push and hold the audio knob in for a couple of seconds until you hear a beep. You can even customize your settings to suit the type of audio you're listening to. Press the Auto Tone button to choose bass and treble settings designed for country and western, jazz, talk, pop, rock, and classical. Your audio system comes equipped with a handy feature called automatic volume. With automatic volume, your audio system adjusts to make up for an increase in road noise. As you accelerate your speed, the radio becomes louder. As you slow down, the radio becomes quieter until it reaches the original level you set with the volume knob. As with many other functions on your audio system, you can customize the settings to suit your own tastes. Simply press the Auto Volume button until you find the setting you wish to use. Low, medium, high, or off. Whether you're listening to the news or the latest in top hits, your vehicle has everything you need to achieve exceptional sound with ease. For more information on the audio system and how to use it, please refer to Section 3 of your Chevrolet Owner's Manual under Audio System. Hey Andrea, have you ever listened to a song on the radio and wished you could get the title and artist information? Absolutely. I always seem to get out of the car just before the announcer mentions the name of the song. Well, that little challenge is addressed by the radio data system common to many GM vehicles. Radio Data System, or RDS, is an advanced technology for FM radios that can find a station broadcasting a specific type of programming, display announcements and messages, or even find stations that give regular traffic announcements. Here's how it works. An increasing number of FM radio stations can send out digital information, information that can be received by an audio system equipped with RDS. When you tune to one of these stations, your audio system's display can show the call letters and information such as song titles or weather. And there's more. With RDS, you can automatically seek specific types of stations like rock, jazz, or classical. Say you want a news station. With RDS, you just push one button and the system automatically seeks out the nearest news station. Let's take a look at ways to use specific features. There are three buttons in the middle of your audio system's bottom row marked Info, Seek Type, and Traff. When you tune in an FM station that uses RDS, your display may show the word Info. Press the Info button on the bottom row to see your message, such as a song credit, temperature, or news headline. If the message is longer than can be displayed on one screen, it will scroll by, showing a new screen of information every few seconds. 
You can accelerate this by pressing Info again and again until you've seen the entire message. The Seek Type button works with the audio knob to find specific types of RDS stations. To use this feature, press the Audio knob, also known as the P-Type knob, and the word Type, along with the program type, appear on your audio system's display. Then turn the P-Type knob to select a specific type of station. When you've found one you like, press the Seek Type button and your radio will search for one. If you want to go to another station of the same type, press the Seek Type button again. RDS can also search for stations with traffic announcements, perfect for the rush hour. To find a station that airs traffic announcements, just push the TRAF button. Your audio system will play the traffic when it is broadcast from that particular station, even if the volume is muted or you're listening to a cassette or a CD. If RDS doesn't find a traffic station, your display will read NO TRAF. RDS also includes a special feature that alerts you in the event of a local or national emergency whether you're listening to the radio, a CD, or a cassette. When an announcement is broadcast on a local station, the word ALERT appears on your display, and the announcement begins to play. RDS is radio at the next level, offering information when you need it, where you need it. For more information on RDS, please refer to Section 3 of your Owner's Manual under Audio System. First there was AM, and radio was big everywhere. Then there was FM, and it sounded better than ever before. So what's next? XM, satellite radio. It's new, it's exciting, and it's radio like you've never heard before. XM is digital radio, and that means both spectacular sound quality and the ability to receive text messages similar to those found in RDS from a selection of more than 100 coast-to-coast -coast stations. XM programming includes music, news, sports, talk, local traffic and weather where these two are available, as well as children's programming. And because the signal comes from a satellite and is augmented by a ground-based repeater network instead of from old-fashioned radio towers, you can listen to the same satellite radio channel anywhere in the continental United States, not just in your local area. XM uses the same category search functions as RDS, and also shows an artist's name and song title on the radio display. XM Radio is a pay-for-use service, just like your cell phone or cable television. If your Impala is equipped with the XM Radio option, you can access it just like any other band on your radio. To order or activate XM service, tune to the XM Preview Station and follow the directions there, and then sit back and enjoy all of the incredible advantages that XM Digital Satellite Radio has to offer. And remember, with XM Radio, you can add up to 12 stations over and above the 18 you can program on AM, FM1, and FM2 for a total of 30 programming presets. XM is the future of radio, and there's a whole lot more detail listed in Section 3 of your Owner's Manual. Okay, Andrea, you've got your radio station set, so what are Chevrolet drivers interested in next? Comfort's big on the list, which is why your vehicle can offer power seats, lumbar support, and optional heated seats. Power seats include six ways to adjust to the exact comfort you're looking for. You can move the seat forward or rearward, raise or lower the entire seat cushion, just the front portion of the seat, or only the rear portion of the seat. For manual seat adjustment, use the bar in front of the seat to slide forwards or backwards. A seat recline lever appears on the outboard side of the vehicle. You hear a lot about lumbar support these days. What it refers to is supporting your lower back to give you a neutral posture and reduce overstretching of muscles, which is important if you're sitting down for a long period of time. Your vehicle contains an adjustable manual control to support your own lumbar needs. Heated front seats are a great addition in winter climates and are an option on your new vehicle. Controls for your power seat, lumbar support, and heated seats are located on the outboard side of the driver's seat. The longer switch you find here controls the six-way power seat settings. Move the seat backwards by sliding the control toward the rear of the vehicle and forward by sliding it toward the front of the vehicle. Slide the control up or down to raise or lower the seat cushion. 
By raising or lowering the front part of the control, you raise or lower the front portion of the seat. You can do the same for the rear part of the seat with the back portion of the control. The lumbar support control is next to the power seat control. Turn the knob forward toward the front of the vehicle to increase support. You can reduce the level of support by turning the knob in the opposite direction. The heated seats option provides two temperature settings. Press low to warm the seat to a lower temperature, high for a higher temperature, or move the switch to the center to turn the seat heating off. Seat adjustments are just another smart way to customize your new Chevrolet. For complete information, please refer to Section 1 of your Owner's Manual under Six-Way Power Seats and Manual Lumbar. Hey Dan, how do you know when your fuel cap isn't put on properly? Well, I guess I can see it when I fill up. I just give it an extra couple of twists until I hear that clicking noise. What if you went to a full-serve station and the cap was left off and you started to drive away? Believe it or not, your vehicle can actually tell when that happens. It's all part of the vehicle's driver interface system, which covers anything that communicates information to the driver. That includes your instrument panel, your radio's visual display, and the optional overhead driver information center. Your instrument panel, that's the cluster of gauges just past your steering column, offers an at-a-glance reference to everything from speed and fuel all the way down to reminder lights. The audio system's radio display gives you information about radio stations and RDS. We cover this in more detail on tracks two and three. The driver information center can show temperature, compass, and trip displays. Your driver interface can give you a lot of precise information about your vehicle. Take the GM oil life system, for example. This function of your vehicle can tell you exactly when to change your oil and filter based on your actual engine revolutions and engine temperature, rather than using mileage alone. You save money and help the environment by avoiding early oil changes. When the change oil light illuminates on your instrument panel, the system is telling you to service your vehicle within your next two stops for fuel. The oil life computer system needs to be reset after every oil change. If you service your car at a GM dealership, they automatically do it for you. To reset it yourself, refer to Section 2 of your driver's manual under Oil Life. If your vehicle is equipped with ABS, you also have a tire pressure monitor system. If the pressure in one of your tires drops compared to the other three, a warning message appears in your driver information center. If the pressure does change, stop as soon as possible and check for damage. Just like the Oil Life monitor, you need to reset the tire inflation monitor. For more information on this system and how to perform regular tire pressure checks, see Section 5 of your Owner's Manual under Tire Pressure Monitor System. Remember the fuel cap information we mentioned at the beginning of this track? Your vehicle will let you know if it hasn't been replaced properly by illuminating the Check Engine Soon message. If you see this message, check your fuel cap first. If the cap is in place and the light stays on, have your engine checked at the nearest GM service center. Your driver interface, from the instrument panel cluster to the driver information center, is a premier system of communications. Just one more reason why driving the Chevrolet is a very smart choice. For complete information on the driver interface, please refer to Section 3 of your Owner's Manual. Radio programmed? Check. Seats adjusted? Check. Now one more thing to give me some extra comfort in the car. Air conditioning? Exactly. Your vehicle comes with a complete dual climate control system. That means the driver and passenger can adjust temperature settings for each side of the car. So the driver can increase the heat on one side, while the passenger can keep it cooler on the opposite side. The knob on the left of your climate control system allows you to increase or decrease the speed of the air that circulates throughout your vehicle. Outside air and recirculation buttons appear below this knob. The right side of the system includes a knob to control where air is circulated. Buttons for air conditioning and rear window defrost are included below this. The center of this console is occupied by the dual climate temperature controls. The lever on the left is marked D and is for the driver. The lever on the right is marked P and works for the passenger. 
Controlling the climate within your car is simple and convenient, especially with easy-to-understand graphics that accompany each knob and button. To turn on the air conditioning, for example, just press the air conditioning button. That's the one with the snowflake beneath the right-hand knob. To adjust the temperature, slide the levers in the middle up or down. Remember, you can customize the settings for driver and passenger sides of the vehicle. If you need to defrost your back window, simply push the defrost button beside the air conditioning button, and a small light appears. Defrosting can take varying amounts of time, depending on how much fog and ice is on your back window. A simple film of frost can be cleared up in a few seconds. A thin layer of ice will take longer. And here's a great tip to help defog the windows. Turn on your air conditioning. Make sure your air recirculation is set to off. And aim the vents at your windows. Set your vehicle's temperature and in no time, you'll be sitting in a comfortable setting. Perfect to get out and enjoy the open road in your Chevrolet. For complete information, please refer to Section 3 of your Chevrolet Owner's Manual under Climate Controls. If I had to choose one accessory I couldn't live without, it would have to be my key fob. That's because you're always losing your car in the parking lot at the mall. I've seen you wandering around pressing the buttons to hear it chirp. That's true, which is why I customize the way my car responds to the key fob. That way I can pick out my car a little more easily. The key fob and locking options of the Chevrolet are great convenience features. If you take a look at your fob, you'll notice four buttons. Lock, unlock, one that looks like a blaring horn called remote alarm, and one that looks like a car with its trunk open, which is called open trunk. Like many of the features you find in your Chevrolet, you can change the way your car reacts to these buttons. It's the same with the power locks within your car. Your new vehicle came with pre-programmed lighting and horn sounding options for the times you press buttons on your key fob. You can change these options via your audio system controls. Here's an example. Your vehicle probably flashes its lights once when you press the lock button on your key fob and twice when you press unlock. Your system is also preset to chirp once when you lock your vehicle and once when you unlock it. To change these settings, turn your ignition to on or to accessory, marked by the letters ACC. Next, press the tune or display knob on your audio system for a full five seconds until the word settings appears in the display. Then press the seek p-scan arrows until the words fob horn appear. Use your previous next button to scroll through the three settings, off, partial, and full. The partial setting has an asterisk next to it to show you that this is the current setting. Press the Tune Display button to choose a new setting, and you'll hear a chirp to verify. You can also set your vehicle for delayed headlamp illumination, which keeps your headlamps lit for up to 60 seconds after you exit your vehicle. To change these settings, turn your ignition to ON or ACC. Then, press the Tune or Display knob on your audio system for a full 5 seconds until the word Settings appears in the display. Then press the Seek P-Scan arrows until the words LT Delay appear. You have three options here. Setting 1 is off. Setting 2 keeps your headlamps illuminated for 30 seconds. Setting 3 for 60 seconds. Press the Previous or Next button to scroll through your options and Tune Display to make your selection. You'll hear that familiar chirp to confirm your settings. There's a whole host of programming options for your key fob, from the length of horn chirps to full alarm settings. To learn more, check Section 2 of your Owner's Manual under Vehicle Personalization. Your vehicle also came with preset options for your automatic door locks, options you can adjust to suit your needs. For example, all doors automatically lock when you move the shift lever out of park, and all doors automatically unlock when you turn off the ignition or place the shift lever back into park. You can change these settings to lock doors only, lock and unlock just the driver's door, or lock and unlock all doors on the vehicle. Locking, illumination, and sound. When it comes to your Chevrolet, the choice is yours. Complete programming information is available in Section 2 of your Driver's Manual under Vehicle Personalization. Hey Andrea, you're always telling me that your vehicle gets pretty good fuel economy. How do you keep it running so well? Well, I know that fuel economy changes if you're running the air conditioning or towing a larger load. It also improves after your engine break-in period. 
You can also make sure your vehicle is running its best with regular fuel checks and close attention to self-monitoring. Fuel economy is important to every car owner and to ensure you get the most out of your fuel, we've assembled a top six list of fuel economy tips. First, practice good driving habits. Tests show that drivers using the same vehicles in the same road and weather conditions can have a 20% difference in fuel consumption. So be sure to obey the speed limit. You can actually use 20% more fuel driving at 70 miles per hour than you do driving at 55 to 60 miles per hour, which is only about a 10% difference in speed. Second, try to avoid sudden stops and quick acceleration. Third, make one long trip instead of several short trips. By making a two or three mile trip, you use more fuel because your engine doesn't reach its most efficient operating temperature. Fourth, shut your engine off when you're not in traffic. If you're stopped for more than 10 seconds, your vehicle uses less fuel restarting than it does idling. Fifth, check your tire pressure every month and make sure each tire is inflated to the correct pressure. Your car will ride more smoothly and burn less fuel. Check the inside of your trunk lid for information on inflating tires. Six, service your vehicle regularly. This can have a major impact on your fuel consumption. In fact, a poorly maintained vehicle typically consumes up to 15% more fuel. Regular systems checks and fluid changes at your GM dealership can keep your car operating at maximum efficiency with genuine GM parts and GM trained and supported service people. Checking your fluids on a regular basis also helps keep your vehicle in good condition. The message center in your instrument panel keeps you alerted, telling you if you're low on engine oil, brake fluid, windshield washer fluid, and fuel. It can even tell you if one of your doors is ajar or the battery charge is low. By the way, you won't have to worry about draining your battery if you leave the interior lamps on after you've turned off the ignition. They automatically turn off after 10 minutes. Your vehicle even has the smarts to check its monitoring systems each and every time you start the ignition. You might notice it performing a basic systems check by illuminating all the lights on the message center. If an actual problem is located, the message center alerts you. It seems that your Chevrolet can virtually take care of itself. All it needs is a little attention from you, attention that starts with your break-in period. Covering the first 500 miles of driving, the break-in period gets your Chevrolet off to the right start. For more information on this, please see Section 2 of your Owner's Manual under New Vehicle Break-In. Vehicle self-monitoring information is available in Section 3 under Warning Lights, Gauges and Indicators. Safety is a key component of every Chevrolet and General Motors is constantly working to improve its hallmark of excellence. So when it comes to your vehicle, you'll find lap shoulder belts, airbags, and a range of features for children. We all know that lap shoulder belts are a good idea, and they're even more effective for children and smaller adults with rear safety belt comfort guides. You'll find these guides tucked between the edge of the seat back and interior body on each side of the rear seat. It's the small plastic piece with the elastic cord. These guides provide added comfort to better position the belt away from the head and neck. To use the guide, slide it under and past the belt so that the elastic cord is beneath the belt. Then place the guide over the belt and insert the two edges to fit the slots of the guide. When you're finished, the belt should lie flat with the elastic cord underneath and the belt on top. For a step-by-step -step diagram, take a look in section one of your owner's manual under rear safety belt comfort guides. The middle rear seat belt is equipped with an important feature that makes folding the optional split seats down a little easier. You can retract the belt using a pointed object to press the release button. Whether it's a lap shoulder belt or airbag, your Chevrolet offers outstanding approaches to safety for drivers or passengers. For complete information, please see section one of your owner's manual titled Seats and Restraint Systems. Tell me, Dan, where do you keep your sunglasses when you're in your car? In my last car, I kept them in the glove box. But to be honest, the Chevrolet has a lot more available storage. There's map storage along the door and on the back of the passenger seat. And you can use the large center console for CDs, cups, and smaller items. That's where I keep my sunglasses. Then there's the trunk, which has a really clever little feature. 
When you release the trunk, you'll notice that it doesn't pop all the way open, which is helpful in keeping rain or snow from getting into the trunk. That's because of a set of specially designed trunk hinges. Take a close look. They're mounted on the side of the trunk and give you more space than ever before because they're not intruding into the main area of the trunk. Your luggage now has a little more room to breathe. Those convenience hinges also mean you'll have to put a little extra effort into closing the trunk. So, whether you're looking to stow your sunglasses or a family-sized load of groceries, the Chevrolet had you covered with an exceptional amount of onboard storage. For complete information, please see Section 2 of your Owner's Manual under Storage Areas. Andrea, what do you know about anti-lock braking and traction control? Well, I know both are important in helping you keep control of your vehicle in less than optimal conditions. And you're going to encounter those from time to time, whether it's snow in the winter or rainstorms in the summer. Optional anti-lock braking, or ABS, helps you avoid braking skids and maintain steering control in these cases. This system uses a computer to control wheel speed via brake pressure. Here's how it works. Say you're driving on a slippery road and you press the brakes. The brake may start to pulse or pump. You should be able to feel it. That's ABS at work. Optional traction control is also helpful in slippery road conditions. It automatically kicks in when it senses either or both of the front wheels spinning or losing traction. It reduces the engine power and upshifts the transaxle. While you do have the option of turning the traction control system off, it can be a great help and comfort on the road. ABS and traction control are two features that you may want to experience to get a feel for how they work. To try your own systems, find a clear, safe area away from traffic. For complete information, please see Section 4 of your Owner's Manual under Anti-Lock Brake System and Traction Control System. You know, my Chevrolet has another feature I like a lot. It's a universal transmitter that means no more juggling remotes for my lights and garage door and no more looking for batteries to keep the remotes fully powered. No wonder, HomeLink is your optional all-in-one key to convenience whenever you return home. It offers a combined transmitter that you'll find on the optional overhead console. There's buttons to activate up to three devices like gate operators, garage doors, entry door locks, security systems, and home lighting. It's convenient to program and easy to use. For information on home link programming, please see section two of your driver's manual under the section marked home link transmitter. Your Impala may be equipped with a truly amazing feature that I think will revolutionize the way we look at our cars. Of course, I'm talking about the OnStar system. OnStar is a hands-free communication system that offers a range of safety, security, and convenience services. OnStar is a complete communication service that uses the Global Positioning System, or GPS, cellular communication, and call centers staffed with live advisors 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days of the year. So, for example, if you run out of gas or are involved in some sort of emergency on the road, you simply press the OnStar button. A call is sent directly to an OnStar advisor who can locate your vehicle and contact assistance if needed. Or if your airbags deploy in an accident, a signal is automatically sent to OnStar, where an advisor will attempt to speak with you and determine whether or not to notify local emergency service providers to respond to your location. If your vehicle should ever be stolen, OnStar can help authorities attempt to locate it by using the Global Positioning System. If you lock your keys in your vehicle, an advisor can send a signal to unlock your doors. In both of these situations, simply call OnStar at 1-888-4-ONSTAR and an advisor will be there to help you. Another amazing feature is the OnStar Remote Diagnostic Service. If a warning light appears, you only have to press the OnStar button and an advisor can run a check of your vehicle's vital systems and let you know the severity of the problem. Many times, the problem can be solved quickly, like, for instance, tightening a loose gas cap. OnStar's one little button can provide a lot of peace of mind. Of course, there are many other services available through OnStar, including a hands-free, voice-activated phone for making and receiving calls. 
To learn more, press the white button next to the OnStar button and say help, or refer to the OnStar owner guide in your glove box. From roadside emergency assistance to remote diagnostics, OnStar really is an incredible service. Your first year of service is included with your new Impala. Beyond your first year, refer to your OnStar owner guide or visit www.onstar.com. Or if you wish, simply press the OnStar button to speak with an advisor to renew your subscription. Your new Chevrolet Impala provides you with one of the most comfortable, convenient, and enjoyable driving experiences available today. Whether you're turning radio stations with controls on your steering wheel, or filling the trunk to the brim with groceries and more. This program has given you a broad overview of just some of the features you can find in your new vehicle. For a complete look at features and how to use them, always check your owner's manual first. Be sure to take the time to experiment with the different settings so you can transform the Impala into a vehicle that's all about you. Thank you so much for your purchase, and until next time, enjoy the road.